you got to understand. Want to talk a little bit about the position of scribe within the troop. Now, let me give you a little bit of context. Whenever you're talking about positions within the troop, a lot of adult leaders think of the key three. The key three are the charter organization rep, the scoutmaster, and the committee chair. This is the key three for the adults. But have you ever stopped to think about what is the key three for the patrol leader council? The patrol leader council, of course, is the senior patrol leader, the assistant senior patrol leader, and the scribe. The scribe's not a voting member per se, but in the patrol leader council, they are responsible to take all of the notes, the minutes of that meeting. All of the troop departments actually report back to the scribe so that that information can be conveyed to the senior patrol leader and the assistant senior patrol leader. Now, this is the weird thing. In the past, the scribe was often referred to as the third person in charge. Now, this was certainly true in the 70s and 80s. Now, I think it kind of changed in the 90s and on. The scribe position is extremely important. It actually is the youth working with committee members in advancement and in finance. Now, many troops today have what is known as a troop guide. I think of a troop guide as more of like a lead patrol leader that works really with the first year emphasis patrol. And the troop guide has different people that he reports to. So it's a little bit different uh, as far as the troop guide. Now, the actual job description, let's call it that, uh, for the um, position of being a troop scribe is they must attend and keep a log at the patrol leaders council, the PLC meeting. They are responsible in recording the attendance and dues payments of members. They're required to record the advancement in troop records for the troops advancement team. Now the scribe is also required to handle correspondence. Now this could be through emails or physical letters. Regardless, it has to be done appropriately according to youth protection guidelines. Many times youth just randomly send off emails and texts to adults and that's not acceptable. They must do that with attaching other leaders or at least their parents. So they have to keep that too deep leadership, even in digital communications. Now they are held to the standards of all the other troop positions. They have to set a good example. They have to wear the scout uniform correctly. They have to live by the scout oath and scout law and help others develop scout spirit. There seems to be a lot of debate about who would be third in charge. In my point of view, it would be the scribe. Even though they're not on any of the organization <laughs> charts I could find, they still have a great deal of responsibility of doing reports and working with adult leaders for the benefit of the patrol leader council. It's critical that we keep working with our youth in regards to their responsibilities for the troop. This is a wonderful opportunity to learn how to communicate, how to get a job done. And you know all about that because you work so hard with your youth and it's greatly appreciated because the future is formed by what we do now. Keep up the really good work and I'll see you on the trail.